Wow, this project really has a lot going on. Do you mean to share the task tracker I've used before with you? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Okay, let's sit down and I'll show you how it works. I'm Joanna and I have a ton of great tips and tricks. So what we're gonna do now is organize this spreadsheet so we can rock this project. How do I get the colors and the arrows in those cells? Oh, the arrows, that's a drop down. So for that, we use data validation. So I just select the column you like to use, I love status, and then click on data at the top and data validation. About halfway down. This opens a dialog where you can specify like all the contents of that drop down. So this is where you get to set all those parameters that you like. This drop down for criteria, you can change it to list of items and you mm -hmm. get to just type in the valid values you like separated by commas. So I like to use, what is it? Ready, in progress, and not get started. Click save. And those are all options in your new drop down. Awesome. I think yours are color coded though, right? Oh yeah, I am obsessed with color coding. So same cells are selected, perfect. Click on format this time up at the top and conditional formatting. It opens this sidebar here where you can make a bunch of rules and we have all of these options. I like to use text as exactly because we just validated the text so we know what it's gonna be. If you type ready and choose green, then everything that's you know ready to go is gonna show up green at a glance. You can also use things like yellow for in progress or red for not yet started or if something was on hold. You could make anything you wanted between validation and formatting and get an at a glance update of the whole project. That's super helpful. I think we're gonna crush this project. Yeah, we are. If you have any questions about this pro tip, leave them in the YouTube comments below. And for more tips just like this, follow us on Twitter at G Suite.